an update, an update from our lead counsel, Barista Ifani Ajofo, regarding his visit to our leader, Mazi Nandi Kanu, on the 23rd day of September 2021, which was uh, yesterday, and I believe uh, maybe most of us must have not you know, seen this news. So let me read it to us clearly so that we can understand and make a little bit analysis regarding uh, the message that uh, our lead council brought to us yesterday. Here he said, update on today being the 23rd day of September 2021, which was yesterday. Visit to our indefatigable client, Onyendu Mazi Namdikano. I had an extensive interaction slash chat with our indefatigable client, Onyendu Mazi Namdikano, during our today's routine visit to the National Headquarters of the Department of State Security Service, which is the DSS, abbreviated. The stride so far recorded on our part is seemingly impressive, though may remain on notice to the undiscerning mind. And he welcomed every strategy being adopted by our team, as well as the coordinating efforts of all lawyers participating in this case, including those in diaspora. He was also briefed on the inability of the federal government FG to file response to these funda to his fundamental human rights suit pending before the Umuahia, Umuahia High Court. An action substantially sus challenged, among others, the unlawful but bloody invasion of his home on the 14th day of September 2017 by the Nigerian security agencies. The federal government reasons for avoiding the court, though not far-fetched, may not be unconnected to their inability to offer explanation on their monstrous and bloody invasion of Onyendu Mazinandikanu's resident on the 14th day of September 2017, wherein over 28 innocent civilians were murdered in cold blood by the invading Nigerian soldiers and properties worth billions of Naira consequently destroyed in the process. Thankfully, the world is paying deserving attention to the gross human rights violations as it affects our client, as well as the continuous onslaught on unarmed civilians being labeled as members of IPOB. It is on record that by the ruling of Justice Bita in 2017, his lordship, while ruling on our application, held that IPOB is not an unlawful organization. This ruling of the court was not appealed against, neither was it set aside by any superior court. We are not relenting in our efforts to ensure that justice is done to our client. He will be freed and in no distant time because he has committed no offense known to the law. He is at best a political prisoner. Nevertheless, victory will be ours in the end, he say. Onyendu was very much overwhelmed to receive the report on the overwhelming solidarity and unwavering support so far shown by millions of his supporters. Peaceful conduct of his fans was also relayed to him, and he encouraged all and sundry 
to be united in one peaceful solidarity. We implore you all to continue to pray for him, even as you remain unshaken in your support and prayers as you have always shown within the confines of the law. Onyendu is very much strong in spirit and firm in his convictions. You will see him soon. We shall continue to provide regular updates as events unfold. Thank you all and remain blessed. Umo Chineke. Sign Ejio 4 Ifiani Esquire Lead Council to Onyendu Mazin Nandikan Flash IPOB. Fellow beer friends and lovers of freedom, this is the update that uh, our lead council, uh, Barista Ifanio Jofo, uh, you know, brought to the beer friends on the 23rd day of September 2001. And 21, sorry. So this is all we have from our barista for now. And uh, we can analyze what he said here if we go to. I think where he said we should come together with unwavering support and do what we are supposed to do. I think Onyen Dude was uh, telling us to be united as we have always been so that we can be formidable and be stronger in our opposition against the invading and marauding Fulani Janjaweed that are coming to take over our land, which they can never. They never defeated Biafra anytime and they are not going to defeat us this time. We shall continue to fight them and we will fight them to finish. We do not run from battle. We are friends. Now, there is another news we have here today from the Sahara reporters, I think. Let's just go through this. This is a breaking news as well, a breaking news. Uh, the names of 45 out of 400 Boko Haram sponsored Buhari government in hiding from Nigeria has been exposed. <laughs> 45 out of 400 Boko Haram. You see now? Let's read this again so we can follow up precisely what this uh, news is talking about here from the Sahara reporters. It is it. Breaking news. Names of 45 out of 400 Boko Haram sponsors, Buhari government is hiding from Nigerian, have been exposed. That means there are 400 Boko Haram that are sponsoring Buhari government, but 45 have been exposed. Wow. <laughs> you see, when we are telling you people that the uh, Nigerian government is being sponsored by Boko Haram, people think that people with IPOB don't know what they are doing. Thank God the Sahara reporters, they are also seeing this now. Thank God the world, they are waking to reality now that what IPOB have been doing all this while, we are correct. As our leader will always say, at the end, we will win. We always win at the end, and we are winning this time. You can see what our leader have been saying for so many years, that these marauding Fulani Janjaweed are working with the Boko Haram. And you can see now that the, the Boko Haram, uh, they are in the government. They are in the government. Let's continue with the news here. Yeah, they say a list of 45 suspected allegedly found Boko Haram. You see now they put alleged, you see? This is the problem with all these news uh, agencies, you know, something so evident and they will now be putting a ledge. You see now they are saying allegedly, you know, founding Boko Haram insurgency in Nigeria has been obtained by Sahara reporter. Allegedly, allegedly, I do not buy that word allegedly because if it is a IPOB now, they will not say allegedly, but as is, it is Boko Haram now, it concerns the zoo government, Sahara reporters have brought in this alleged, you know, nonsense. If it is IPOB now, they will tell you ESN kill 20, they will not put alleged kill 20 or ESN attack police, they will not say alleged, ESN alleged attack police. But now that it is a Boko Haram with the, 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 the Janja with the government, now they are telling you that it is, it is uh, alleged. Ah, these people, these people, these people. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They include Saudi, these are the names. They include, let me call the names as written here. Saidu Ahmed, Ibrahim Sani, listen to the name, Ibrahim Sani Bello. Mustafa, Mustafa, Adamu, Abubakar, Sadiq, Garba, Hussein, Adamu, Mohammed, Sani, Adamu, Abdullahim, Abdullaham, 
Ibrahim, Gazil, Yusuf, Yusuf, Ali, Yusuf, Abubaka, Adamu, Yelu, Zahudin, Bashir, Haruna, Garba, Garu, Ibrahim, Aliu, Usman, Hassan, Idris, Musa, Emma. Ah, which one is Musa, Emma? This Emma, does it sound, uh, Musa, yes, we know he's a, uh, Ausa and Fulani use this name, but this Emma, uh, you know, this Janja with people, they move a lot, only God know where they get this Emma. Uh, Musa, Emma, okay, let's go. Yeah, they say Musa, Emma. Now, Al-Shahim, Mohammed, Al-Mashim, Baba, Sam Samai, Bulami, Tahir, Abu Bakr, Ali, Mohammed, Ambare, Dan Lami, Hussein, Nadobu, Dan Lodi, Tale, Inuwa, Bashir Ali, Masur Mohammed Usman. Others are, now this is another paragraph of another group. Others are Musa Tasiu Ya'u, Awa Ali Al Hashan, Sadi Saidu Abdullahi, Suraj, Suraj Adamu, Mohammed Awaliu, Awaliu, Ismaili Abdulaziz, Mohammed, Muzaili Ashiru Dambo, Yaziz Mohammed Usman, Nabil Zakari, Zakari, okay, here, Gambo Awuliu, Mohammed Abba, Bashir Idris Shaibu, Mohammed Yahuya, Yahuya, see name, now wow, these people say, Ayuya Ibrahim, Abdullahi Omar Usman, Dahiru Umar Mohammed, Abdullahi Ahmed, Abubaka Yahaya, Hasariani, Husaini, Husaini, Lawa, La, Wali, Idrisu, Husaini, Lawali, Idrisu, Ladin, Ibrahim, Naudin, Gani, Ayu. All these people name self can cut somebody's tongue. This is terrible. Okay, let's go to another part. Here they say breaking news again. Of Okay, this is the same here. I think we must have read this one. And they say, let us just analyze what I read now. These are just the list of the names of the people that are in already working with the, the ones that have been discovered by Sahara reporters that are effectively working with this government. Now, now, let us analyze this, uh, uh, this issue very clearly. If a government have been proven by, according to the zoo standard, a reputable newspaper like a Sahara reporter, because Sahara reporters are among those newspapers that also are under the zoo. Because if you are working in the zoo and your newspaper is still floating, it's because you are complying with them. If you don't comply with them, they will shut you down. All of us know that. So, to the standard of the zoo, Sahara Reporters is a reputable, you know, newspaper or news outlet that is functioning in the zoo. That is why they can't shut it down because they are complying with them. So, if they can bring out such a news that... 45 names out of 400 Boko Haram sponsored that were hiding in Buhari's government have been exposed. What are, what the hell are Nigerians waiting for, for Christ's sake? If these things is happening in other places, you see spontaneous uprising of the people. You will see spontaneous uprising of the people to shut the government down. Because this cannot be happening. You can't have terrorists ruling you. It is not good. That is why we are just saying all this because we, Biafrans, we are not included because we are doing the needful. And we will continue doing the needful. This movement of IPOB cannot be shut down by anyone. Now, how can the Nigerian people, now I am directing this analysis to the Nigerians, at least go and get sense, Nigerians, those people that are still claiming they are Nigerians. You fully know that the, the people ruling your government are terrorists. Go to the Sahara reporters and follow the news I just read to you now. And you will discover that you are being ruled by terrorists. And nothing you are doing. You are keeping quiet, you are afraid to die. You will die one day. And how are you going to die? What legacy are you going to leave behind? 
you are going to die as a coward and leave the legacy of cowardice to the generations that are coming. We, Biafrans, we have already moved on. We are doing the needful and we shall get Biafra and Biafra shall be restored. Nothing anyone can do. So, Nigerians, is the, the time for you to wake up is now. Look at just in the United States. Shamelessly, Nigerian paid African Americans from Bronx to come and be, you know, you know, uh, telling the crowd that Nigeria is a, is a good country that Christians are not being killed in solidarity with Nigeria. Just, just imagine the, if, if a nation have gone to that extent of paying people, there is no worse thing than that. The country does not exist anymore. Practically, people that sees far, they should know that Nigeria as a country or as a nation, which we know have never been and will never be. But I'm just saying this for people that feel Nigeria is a nation or a country because we know we be friends, we are intelligent, we know what we do, we are doing, and we know how to see these things, and we know the truth, and we have been properly, you know, tutored by our senior, Mazin and the so we know. So I'm only saying this to Nigerians. If a country or a nation, as you claim you are a Nigerian, have gone that low to pay other citizens, you know, to parade themselves in solidarity of Nigeria, man, Nigerians. Please, please, please. When our leader Martin and the Kano will say, when you come out and say you are a Nigerian, he regards you as an animal. I mean, a lower animal at that. Because even animals, they rebel. Animals rebel. There is a certain point at which you, you will pressure an animal, you will rebel. The animal will rebel. What is wrong with Nigerians? Listen to this. Breaking news. 45 out of 400 Boko Haram sponsored Buhari government is hiding from Nigeria have been exposed and nobody's asking anything. If it were to be Biafran Post now or this new source is from IPOB or anything that affiliates to Biafra, people will start saying, oh, this is propaganda, propaganda from IPOB. But this is a reputable news outlet, which is for Nigeria. Because, as I repeat, if you are not reputable in Nigeria based on their own standards in Nigeria, they will shut you down. All of us knows that. So, Nigerians, the earlier you wake up and face reality, the better for you people. Because we, be friends, we are, we are gone. So, this is all I have for everyone today. Those that have ears, let them hear. Those that don't want to hear, our people say, they fly, they don't want to listen, we follow the cops to the grave. We follow the cops to the grave, why we, be friends, we are going on our way. There is nobody that can stop us. So tomorrow we'll be coming with another news update. As soon as these news are breaking, we'll make sure we'll be bringing it to the world, not only for Biafrans, to everyone. Also, we'll be analyzing this news to let Biafrans understand. And also the Nigerian people that are still calling themselves Nigerians to also understand that they are deceiving themselves. In as much as they are still trapped in that contraption that they call Nigeria and they are calling it a nation, they will never have growth, they will never have light, they will never have what the basic amenities that others are enjoying, they will never have it until thy kingdom come. In perpetuity, they will live like that. The earlier you get up and rise up and chase us and chase out all those uh, bandits out of your government houses, the, the, the better for all of you. Because Nigeria is a terrorist organization in disguise of a government. Nigeria is a terrorist organization in the guise of a government. And everybody that is affiliating and working uncovertly with Nigerians, they are all terrorists. The earlier Nigerians will wake up and chase out all these bandits out of their government and take over the country, everybody should go their ways and live the way they were supposed. God created them to live a better for all of you. Tomorrow we shall be coming on air again. Thank you.